All right, Sonia's back with more entertainment headlines. So much happening the Oscars this weekend, but a bigger yeah. a bunch of Canadian awards coming up. Yeah, we actually have our nominations for the CSA. So a limited series about an Indigenous woman's search for her birth family and a comedy film chronicling the creation of a game-changing smartphone dominate this year's Canadian Screen Award nominations. Crave original series Little Bird leads the TV series category with 19 nominations. Yeah, I think they're coming to collect all the awards. The six-part series features a largely indigenous cast and creative team and was co-created by Jennifer Podemski, we love the Podemski sisters, and Hannah Moskovich. So it's also up against CBC's Essex County, Plan B, Hollywood Suits um, Slasher, Ripper, and CTV's Transplant for Best Drama Series. But I have a feeling this year uh, really belongs to Little Bird. 19 nominations mm -hmm. says a lot about what, sort of where the where the mindset seems to be. Little Bird, it, yeah. it really is so phenomenal. Just yeah. the way it's shot too, um, <clears throat> just the storytelling, all of that. And I don't like saying this, but sometimes, you know, certain Canadian shows and films have like a Canadian feel. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Little Bird does not. Does not, mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you feel like you're watching just like this beautiful yeah. high production. Um, wow. But just like the it's quality of the, just the talent as well too. It's, it's so good. Mm -hmm. uh, Blackberry, helmed by Toronto director Matt Johnson, leads the film categories with 17 mm. nominations, mm. including for Best Picture and Achievement in Direction, becoming the most nominated movie in the history of wow. the 11-year-old wow. Canadian Screen Awards. The film also just won the $50,000 prize for a Canadian feature prize from the Toronto Film Critics Association earlier this week and also made TIFFs Canada's top 10 list for 2023. I have a feeling that this is just the beginning of the buzz for Blackberry. I think this is actually going to go to some international, I mean, TIFF itself to be yeah. in the top yeah. 10. You know that once TIFF gets that, uh, gives that sort of um, recognition that it's going to end up at other bigger festivals and I think we're going to actually see a continuation of success of oh, this movie it's for so sure. Good. And it's a good movie. Let's just be honest. Like, we're not critics, but it's a good right. movie. You watch yeah. it, you understand the story, you kind of remember where Blackberry kind of was. I never had a Blackberry. And the acting was real. I did, and I miss mine to this mm. day. It's so been almost eight years husband. without it. I miss the, the physical keyboard, keyboard, the physical keyboard so much. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't no. miss the thing on the side, but uh, um, I had investments in Blackberry that so didn't did I, do yeah. so well. They didn't do so well either, yeah. I didn't have one, but I invested in one. I'm sort of a dramedy about a gender fluid Pakistani Canadian millennial balancing various identities, is also up for Best Direction and Best Writing in a Comedy. Um, sort of has done fantastic. Bilal, they are pretty much the person behind bringing a um, open category uh, oh. so like where we have everybody can be nominated in that same category it's not male or female right. Interesting. which okay. was a, a huge part like just to yeah. know have that legacy to start that conversation and then the CSAs catch on to that conversation mm -hmm. and make that change which is amazing so so proud of them the 156 trophies you guys will be handed out at the for Canadian film television and digital media uh, should mention e -talk has been nominated for various categories as well but <laughs> May March Martin is going to be hosting uh, May 31st, which is, that's like a mouthful. May, and May. May yeah. Martin, In May. May 31st. Yeah, mm -hmm. it all goes down May 31st, so we'll, we'll be watching very, very closely. Yeah, because they're all handed out over a number of days. It's not just yes. one yes. show for everything. Correct. They kind of break it up really kind of by like digital, Categories, TV, exactly. film. Like film, so, TV yeah. kind of goes together. Last yeah. year, I remember Ryan Reynolds received a... Um, an award for all his philanthropic work. Did he come? Mm -hmm. Didn't yeah, you he sit did. down with him? Yeah, you sat down with him. It's good that yeah. he comes yeah. because I think the more you know Canadian stars that have made it big that come back for it, it would elevate the Canadian Screen Awards sure. yeah. as a for more sure. of a red carpet go to like yeah. TIFF event. Definitely. Like, look yeah. how huge yeah, yeah, TIFF exactly. is, right? Catherine O'Hara received an yeah. icon award mm -hmm. last year. I sat down with her as well. Mm -hmm. But awesome. I agree with you. Yeah, I think it's important we need more for these big names to come back. Big names to come back and show their pride. So you'll come back in about half an hour's time to give us the latest as well. Probably in like fifteen minutes, actually. Well, I can't wait. All right. <laughs> Look forward to that. Okay. Set that Gotta get the headlines right now. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia.